Hi, good day everyone. I'm Rambo Wong from HPE Storage. I, I'm thrilled to be here in Microsoft Ignite 2019 in, o, in Orlando and talk with our customers and the partners over the last few days about HPE Storage solutions for Microsoft applications. And today, I would like to summarize a few points over the past few days during the discussions and with everyone to contact us more for more technical details. The first one I would like to mention is 100%. During the whole event, probably you have been hearing a lot of nights, nice, seven nights, nice, eight nights, nice, even 18 nights. Nice. But now we have something very different from HPE storage. We are, we, we are giving our customers 100% data availability guarantee for our latest and the greatest storage array, Primera. It is right next to me. With the Primera, we have grown, start from ground to build the hardware and the software within the experience we had over the last 15 years on server, storage, electrons, to make sure this is the most robust storage array we had ever. On top of that, you can see that we have and our engineers build on the robust dual-path support, redundant components, failover clusters all over in the array. Okay, um, we can talk about that this over and over for days. However, a single box with hardened hardware and software doesn't solve all the problems. To be able to achieve another layer of availability, we put InfoSight on. InfoSight is an HP unique, AI-enabled, cloud-based system monitoring and tuning tool. It will help customer to monitoring the server storage connectivities from HPE Cloud seven days a week, 24 hours per day. It will monitor the performance information. It will collect hundreds of telemetry data from each device. Temperature, fan speed, IOPS, IO latency, disk smart, smart data. All this information will be collected, correlated, and analyzed by our AI engine to figure out the unique part in each customer's environment correlated with other customers' data center and figure out if there is a similar pattern happened in one place. So we can figure out the pinpoint the problems who will hinder customers' environment in the future and stop them before it will happen. To real to keep customers' IT system running 365 days a year with predictive, with predictive performance under any natural disaster or human errors, a single box hardware and the software hardened is not enough. On top of the AI-enabled InfoSight and the box hardware we have, we build the multi-site disaster resilience solutions. We call them peer persistence. With this system design, you can see that our storage array can synchronously replicate every transaction data between two data centers. In the case of one data center is unavailable due to natural disasters, due to power loss, due to any unforecasted problems, the other data center can immediately take over all the workload without any data loss. And for, to cater with the, uh, the customers even more rigid requirements to have a disaster recovery solutions spanning more than metro sites to, to be continental, we have a further rigid solution called Peer Persistence 3DC. With the PP3DC, we can have a third site standby with hundreds of kilometers or even continentals away. And at event, there is a region-wide disaster make the whole city or state not available to provide the mission critical service the customer is demanding. We have a third side to help us to serve the applications 
from thousands of miles away. That's the first point I would like to make about 100% data availability guarantee. The second part is to run customers' mission critical applications, for example, Microsoft SQL Server. In addition to the 100% available data, we need to give the application very predictive performance with ultra low IO latency to make the application running happy, to make sure they can retrieve data as fast as they can and process them in the CPU in the memory. And by doing that, we have been consistently tuned our storage system to lower the IO uh, latency to increase the number of IOPS we can process at the same time. However, there is a we made a boundary roughly three years ago that whenever we tune the system, there is always an IO latency that how fast we can read and process data from the back end fresh. And to overcome that problem, we cooperated from Intel. So instead to use the regular SSD fresh media to store the data, we can add an extra layer of cache, we call them um, Optum, or 3D cross point cache in our system. With the help of, opt of the Optum, we have the chance to cut the IO latency of the application into half. And this is the POC we performed a few months ago. To we basically we run the SQL Server workload on top of server. And then we enable the 3D cross point cache powered by Intel Optum in our disk array. As the workload start to build, we can see the Optum and as well as our cache, our uh, disk array cache are, gener are consistently storing data into the faster tier. So the IO latency is going down uh, gradually. At a certain point of time, we decided that let's try to turn off the 3D cross point of time cache and see what's happening there. And then we can see immediately the IO latency jump up by roughly doubled. So this is a perfect example to prove that with the help of the 3D cross point cache, the IO latency could be as low as 60% of the original um, system. I want to I want to reiterate that with, within even within or without 3D cross point, our three part can consistently deliver IO laten, uh, latency less than one millisecond. However, with the help of the 3D cross point, we are looking at even further halving that IO uh, latency time for the most demanding customers. And we also understand the other part that we are se currently selling the most performing system on the market. But this system with the top performance today will not be the top performer in another three years, five years. The IT industry is an ever evolving industry. So we have a program called HPE Timeless Storage. With the program, and for any customer involved in that, they will always get our latest and the greatest storage array. We will uh, absorb the cost to maintain, to help customer maintain their storage system running, always running at the most high performing with the latest, greatest features. In addition to the performance and the data availability um, mentioned by Microsoft in this week. I guess everyone had been heard about container again and again. Container has been kind of the industry standard to run not only the light workload like web apps, DevOps, .NET. Now container has been the engine to run a very serious workloads like Microsoft SQL Server. The new SQL Server 2019 Big Data Cluster is based completely on container, Kubernetes. At the same time, we can see that Microsoft also announced Azure Arc Data Service, which is basically to bring the SQL Server workload from cloud to on-prem, running 100% on Kubernetes, either being newly created by Azure Arc 
all existing Kubernetes. HPE storage employ, we welcome container, we embrace container. Actually, since several years ago, we have started to enable our storage array to be able to talk to containers. So as of today, all our major storage platforms can support containers, aka persistent volumes. In addition to that, we can support containers running in any format. We support containers running, we support Windows containers, we support Linux containers, we support containers talking to our storage arrays over iSCSI, we support containers talking to arrays over Fiber Channel or even over NFS protocol. With the latest Windows SQL Server 2019 Big Data Cluster, we will see the customers demanding the high-performing I.O. from the container to the backend storage with a large amount of capacity with the persistent volume so each container, each port could be failed between different nodes. And all of that is a perfect match. We are ready for our HPE, from our HPE storage point of view. The last point I would like to mention is about security. So we understand that security has been a major topic in the industry. There are so many customers asking about, you can do things great, but can you do everything in a very secure way? Yes, we have some solutions to help customers to minimize the risk of malicious software and, and, and hacker. So in the past, um, to avoid the risk from the malicious software, ransomware, and the virus, the best way to deal with them is to employ backup. It's definitely the best practice to have a backup solution, keeping customers' data from logical errors seven days per week, 24 hours per day. However, this also brings in another small problem. The backup server, by nature how it works, should be granted the access to any application server, any database server, any virtualized server, any storage array, backup repository. It can read and write to every single server and the storage in the environment. That's the way how we perform backup and restore. But if this backup server has been breached, then we have a system-wide or data center-wide problem. Every single component in the data center could be breached. They could be hacked, they could be encrypted. Ransomware will have a lot of impact on the system. And the even worse part is we have the possibility of losing the backup. The way how HP to, and to, for many customers, they have been employing very heavy build firewall and real-time security to check every single I.O. go in and go out of the uh, backup server. And that actually slowed down the process of the backup because the backup server was supposed to run to moving data at several gigabytes per second. How HP can help us? We figure out probably the best way to deal with this is to remove backup server. So we re after we remove the backup server, there's no way for the ransomware or any malicious software to attack it. H we have a software called HP RMC. After the deployment of the RMC, it will enable our primary storage array to talk directly with the secondary direct array, backup device. By doing that, by doing this point-to-point -point direct connect, there's no room for any malicious software or ransomware or hackers to hack into this transportation layer. And all customers need to worry about is how to secure their application server, database server, which had been a very, um, been employed by many other vendors. They have with a very good solutions to do that.